Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the Chick-fil-A here in Port Charlotte. And uh, would you please welcome the Christian Music New Artist of the Year, Male Vocalist of the Year, and recently awarded junior announcer on the morning cruise, Mr. Chris August. No, there we go. Uh, so I got the job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still working on it. It's a 30-day trial period. Real information. I figure we gotta do a little sound check and you know because every every time I did sound check with this this you know this is the original way I wrote. I wrote this one song. And, and I figured this is not going to work, but uh, well, you know, sometimes we just got to make sure I can hear it. I don't even think it's going to go to this monitor down here. Now that I think about it, maybe it is, is it? Comes like, I don't know, these chicken wings are good. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> So I wrote this song, this was the original way, the way it went. It's not entirely true, but we'll say this. No, it's fine. Give my life to the only one who makes the moon reflect the sun every starry night. That was his design. Give my life to the only son who was and is and yet to come. Let the praises ring. He is everything. Yes, he is. That's not how it went. Um, well, I officially left my guitar pick in my backpack, so we're gonna go finger today. <laughs> Luckily. Oh. Alright, oh, toss me out there. Oh, that's great. Mm. Genuine diggies, medium pick. They can get out, exactly. But if they're overalls, get a pick. <laughs> Buy some shorts, play guitar. <laughs> Write a song, sing a Chick fil A. <laughs> Male vocalist, free chicken wings. <laughs> there we go. And that's how I got here. <laughs> that's my story. That's my testimony. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully, this hasn't been, you know, some people keep their picks like in their mouth a lot. I'm hoping this is not one of those. This is people like chewing on them and stuff. You're chewing on them. And now I'm playing with it. All right. um, the early morning is the best time to sing. <laughs> That's not true. I'll just sing a bunch. I'll just lower all the songs. So what's going to be in this key? So now we'll sing it in this key. Oh, yeah, that sounds like not true. Let the bridge down, the sun is gonna wake us Well somebody's been messing around with me I don't know but I'm thinking maybe we could run in the summer But how the weather's always cooler when it's together the sun is brighter when it shines from the sky Down to you and I, down to you and I It's brighter when it's you and I You and I Let the music play It's time to start the dancing party Some chances are it. Somebody's been messing around with you. Grab your shoes, cause I was thinking maybe we could run in the summer. But how the weather's almost cooler when we're together. The sun is brighter when it shines from the sky. Down to you and I, down to you and I. It's brighter when it's you and Around with us. I don't know what I'm thinking. 
was brighter when it shines from the sky Down to you and I, down to you and I It's brighter when it's you and I You know, now that we're getting a couple of days in, I'm just randomly gonna change everything I'm doing. That's what we like to do. So, um, um, this one, is a song I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing you, is a song, and that about that, that explains it. Who is it? <laughs> that is a cell phone, turn the names to silent y'all. <laughs> Just kidding, it's all good, it's like relaxed kind of vibe. You should keep them on. <laughs> uh, I said it's relaxed vibes, so keep them on, I don't mind. <laughs> this is like family time, if we lived at Chick fil A. <laughs> That's like the backyard swing, but like on steroids. The <laughs> better name backyard playground I ever had. I think we're gonna go play on it later. Uh, so I wrote this song when. Um, I was thinking about how, like you know when you're young, and a lot of you still are, how's it going? You ever been to Sunday school? Me neither. Uh, anyone else? You ever been to Sunday school? Uh, I remember when I was young, I went to Sunday school a couple times. I didn't go to church too often when I was a kid, but when I did, I, I remember we had these like little boards, and they were like felt, that was like felt boards, and you would like put things on them, like Noah's Ark. Remember those things? Those were awesome. Both that. Um, and, and I still think to, to this day, if you walked into a business meeting and you had a felt board with a pie chart and no PowerPoint, I would be like, impressed, that's me. <laughs> you got the job, sir, because you are brave. And I respect that in a, in a person that's trying to do something with their life, I don't know. But uh, So I remember these felt boards, and I, um, we would learn things like, oh, Noah built an ark, and God flooded the earth, and... and God is everywhere, he's omnipresent, and, and you're so young, they just become part of life because, you know, you just believe everything anyone tells you, and there's no really significance there, and, and then later on in life, you know, you, you relearn these things, how God is everywhere, and it's like, whoa, that's, that's actually kind of crazy to think how he's everywhere, and then I start thinking, well, if, if God really is everywhere, then even when I run from him, I'm running to him. I was like, well, that's kind of an interesting thought because that kind of shows the grace and the, the character that God has that even in the midst of our sin, he's there for us and that's when Christ died for us. And so I just figured, well, that kind of ends up telling just how the gospel is and, and uh, you know, what Christ did. And so I, because of that, I ended up writing the song, which is actually the, the title track from my album called No Far Away.
you tore it down. Yeah. Now we see you all around. So when we run from you, we run to you. guitar. I wrote it on piano, but you know there's no time like the present to try it. And, and uh, so someone said that um, that um, this was one of their favorite ones when I was in the line earlier, so I figured, well, let's, let's play it. Uh, and this is a song that, you know, I think a lot of times, like I said, God's everywhere, and it's like sometimes we think he's not really in, he knows what we're thinking. Um, and it's like Santa Claus. <laughs> Instead of not getting presents, I don't know what you're gonna not get from me. Might as well just be good. <laughs> um, but um, you know, for for me, I was driving in the car one day, and I was just thinking um, how you know it's. Sometimes I have these doubts, like, uh, you know, this is just this, like, big emotional game, and I'm not, you know, I'm just, you could, like, worship the sun and pray to Joe Pesci, and half my prayers would come true, and half would you know, and, but, and then I started, you know, I was like, I have these honest doubts, and it's like, well, I'm just going to tell God, like, look, God, I have these doubts, I wonder sometimes, is this real, what am I doing, you know, am I just doing all this for nothing, or what is this, you know, and, and and that's when, you know, I, I, thought, I thought about the verse, you know, when God says, just have, you know, have faith, you know, faith of, even just bring me faith of the mustard seed, you know, and, 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 and so I said, okay, God, I'm just, I'm just going to believe you at your word, I'm going to believe that this is true, because that's what you say to do, and, and then I really started seeing God working in my life, when I started reading this word and getting into it, and, and, and putting the faith in there that he asks for, and, and, and I've seen, I mean, I've just seen him move, like, I, I, I wish that, you know, and I'm, and he's, you know, my friends here can attest to this, that, you know, when you do, when, you, when you're going at it and, you, and you're doing God's work, you're trying your hardest. I mean, we hear stories every day. I mean, I hang out with these guys. I hear, I mean, you, they go eat anywhere. I'm like, man, there's a lot of people who listen to y'all and, and the life's getting changed and stuff. And, you know, and I really see what God is doing here. Uh, and it makes me happy, you know. And But, you know, I started with this song, you know, just kind of coming from an honest place. Uh, and this one's called Wanna Be Real. First time on guitar. <laughs> I've never been 
been there before. Oh, wait, we're gonna get this one. Alright, I got it. I've never said this before, I've never opened the door so wide. When no one else is around, there's no good reason for me to hide. But I, I wanna be real. So I'm throwing out words I don't fully understand. I could be talking to myself, but I don't think I am. Cause you're always there through the fight, saving my heart from the doubt inside. the man that I was, I used to see you in highs and lows, but now I'll keep on believing, even if I can't see your show, and I, I wanna be real. So I'm throwing out words I don't fully understand I could be talking to myself But I don't think I am Cause you're always there Through the fight Saving my heart from the doubt inside And I I wanna be real And I There's too much at stake And I'm tired of fake And I just wanna be real I wanna be real There's too much at stake And I don't care if I break I just wanna be real I wanna be real Oh, it's throwing out words I don't fully understand I could be talking to myself But I don't think I am Cause you're always there through the fight, just saving my heart from the doubt inside. Oh, but you're always right by my side, saving my heart. And I've never said this before, I've never opened the door so wide. So for me, this one is, is one that's definitely the most personal song I've ever written. Uh, I come from just a broken home, broken family kind of situation, and all the pain that comes with that before and during and after. And, um, you know, I actually was sitting out, I grew up in the same house my entire life until about two years ago when I moved to Nashville. I was thinking about all the memories this house has seen. I mean, I was brought home from the hospital there, learned how to walk and talk and throw a baseball. And then, you know, the same house I saw my family fall apart. And, you know, uh, I, I started, you know, really just writing a song about what hurt me when I was a kid and I was younger and just growing up and ended up, um, God started teaching me about forgiveness through it. And, and I've learned that there's, you know, there's a good side to almost every emotion, even anger. But I've never found anything good about bitterness. And so my prayer was that God would take, you know, the bitterness and, and replace it with forgiveness. And you know, the thing with forgiveness is that with forgiveness comes healing. And, and God really does have the ability to take something that was broken and, and make it better than we ever thought it could be. And, and I saw him do it in my own life with, with this song. I've written it just over a year ago now. And, you know, I'm a different man because of it for sure. And, you know, so even though I set up to write a song about being hurt, I wrote this one about forgiveness. And it's called 7 Times 70 I've been living in this house here since the day that I was born. These walls have seen me happy, most of all they've seen me torn. 
you've heard the screaming matches Ain't a family for a part They've had a front row seat To the breaking of my heart But seven times, seven deep times I'll do what it takes to make it right I thought the pain was here to stay But forgiveness made a way Seven times, seven deep times It's healing in the air to life I'm reaching up to pull it down Gonna wrap it all around I remember running down the hallway Playing hide and seek I didn't know that I was searching For someone to notice me Felt alone and undiscovered And old enough to understand Just when I'm supposed to be learning to love Let me down again But seven times, seven deep times I'll do what it takes to make it right I thought the pain was here to stay But forgiveness made Seven times, seven deep times There's healing in the air tonight I'm reaching up to pull it down Too bad I want to. <laughs> what should we get that new? Alright. So I got this brand new song for you. I got a couple, but uh, I always ask Carmen to take and she picks the same one every time. <laughs> you don't want to hear anything different? Alright, alright. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so this one, it, yeah, I'm, just, I'm writing this new, these new, new songs and I'm just trying to think. I want to get down to the basics of what this is about, and I figure, well, there's one thing we know is true, is that one day Jesus is going to come back and heal everything, so, come on now, you can get me. That's some truth I just hit you with. And, and so I wrote a song about it, and uh, it's called Amen, and feel free when I'm singing this. I don't mind if you can be like, come on, bro, amen. It's encouraged, you know what I'm saying? And so, Give it to you now. This one's called Amen. I'm gonna bring a little church. This horror 
was for the people, the weary and the poor, waiting for the day when they will hurt no more. Lord, this world is full of suffering, these promises are true. We hold on to the hope that the day is coming soon. So amen, amen. And the people said amen. The troubles of this world, oh, they come to an end. And all my brothers and my sisters, let me hear it again. The kingdom is coming, and the people said amen. This world is full of struggle. We're all trying to break free. We fall back to the same thing, cause addictions are disease. But I'm telling you there's someone who will set your spirit free. His name is Jesus and His blood redeems. So amen, amen. Said, Amen. The troubles of this world, oh, they come into an end. And all my brothers and my sisters, let me hear it again. The kingdom is coming, and the people said, Amen. Give me more than just religion Cause it feels like something's missing That heaven and earth collision Amen, amen That's the end if you believe it and If you feel it then help me sing it And if you know that you need it and you know that you need it. So amen, amen. And the people said, amen, amen. And the people said, amen. The troubles of this world are only coming to, gonna come to an end and all my brothers and Sisters, let me hear it again. Yeah. That the kingdom is coming, and the people said, Amen. I said, Jesus is coming, and the people said, Is that one? Is it awesome or what? Amen. I was just never, uh, never one. Stop singing. I just want to take it up again. <laughs> amen, amen. Oh, when the people said amen. Troubles, of the world. Church. Troubles of the world. Hey. The people said. That's all. I'm gonna say amen. I don't know. Hallelujah. I feel like we should give him some some of the other one. You know, I'm playing that. All right. Y'all, I, I can. So I, I wrote this other one. This, I've only written two songs. And I, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I wrote this other one that um, I've been playing, and I literally debuted it here on the summer cruise. I've never had played this song before, so it's brand new. And, and I, I really enjoy playing it, so I figured, like I said, I'm trying to get down to the basics of, of what you know some of this stuff's about. 
and with Amen, you know, at one point, you know, Jesus, Jesus can come and heal him, you know what I mean? And, and, and the thing is, with the, with the name of Jesus, I figured, well, that's like, because that's like the greatest name, there's power in the name, there's healing in the name of Jesus when we call upon it. Uh, and and I, I figured, I should write a song about that. That's pretty simple. So the other one's called Amen, and this one's called Jesus. Simple. Keep it simple. I think I have to. So, I mean, come on. I need y'all up here dancing with me or something. <laughs> so, you know, there's a couple things in my life that have just made me who I am today. One of those things is Ace Ventura. That's just the truth. I love Ace Ventura. Uh, I mean, I literally walked around my middle school like Ace Ventura when I saw that movie. I, I had, I was like, they walked around. Looking at people, people like, that dude? I'm like, oh, Raven! And they're like, okay, I got thrown in a trash can a couple times, but I did write a song about forgiveness, so hey, I'm working through it. Um, another thing that I love so much made me who I am is Voice to Men. I heard Voice to Men, and I was like, that is the music I love. In seventh grade, the first time I ever sang in front of people, I literally sang a voice to men song. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, because I can't believe I sang that in seventh grade in front of people. I think my teachers were probably a little shocked too, but I didn't know. Uh, I was just singing, uh, and I had a really high voice. Um, still do, I guess. <laughs> um, 
And, and I love Bush Smith so much, it, it literally takes every part of me not to just stand up here and sing Bush to Men songs, but every once in a while I can't help it. I just, I take that Top Gun soundtrack and I'm like, oh. We belong together And you know that I'm right Why do you play with my heart? Why do you play with my heart? I'm talking to this little singles minister right here in the camera, y'all. Average! Come on. Hello. You see, all, and, the, and the singing was fun, but see, I always, I, what I really want to do was that low talking part that was like, baby. <laughs> and I just ran off with that other film. <laughs> see, I, I, didn't have, I didn't have the low voice. I, I wasn't cool like that. I didn't have the low, cool voice. I had the higher voice. I was literally... I was a 13 year old in the draft of a Burger King being like, I mean Chick-fil-A, being like, I'd like a number three, you know, and the lady's like, excuse me, ma'am, what'd you say? And I'm like, what? Like, that called me out in front of my whole family. My brother's been hit for the most, called me man. I'm already 13, going through some changes right now. It's kind of difficult. You call me man. It hurts my feelings, but you know, I wrote a song about forgiveness, dealing with that, working through it. Difficult at times, but it haunts me in the heart. And another thing that I love, so much, and I can't believe I actually wrote a song about it. Well, I can because I love it, but I can't believe I sing it live because <laughs> it's really embarrassing. And this song is just a joke. Don't worry, I'm not going this direction with my musical career. At least I hope not, but hey, you never know. <laughs> Lord, please don't. <laughs> uh, so this is a song I wrote about how much I love candy. Oh, I have no idea what I was getting myself into. Um, and so this one, it's called the candy wrap, and that's just playing on words, people. Gotta close the blinds so the singles minister you can see. <laughs> that does sound worse. <laughs> well, <I'm here. laughs> Cause there's a camera on me. Here, Mom. Okay, so going down here. Leave it alone. <laughs> We're public at Chick-fil-A <laughs> About playgrounds and stuff Innocent kind of things, y'all I'm just trying to, I'm trying to bring this beat back With a little I'm in love with my own I'm in love with my own I'm in love with my own why would I not do the candy song to the regulators and Michael McDonald? I love candy. Listen, I love the candy, y'all. The taste, the taste, it makes me feel so grand. The tart, the bitter, the sour and sweet, I like it all. So come on and let a brother eat, cause it's the 15th. You know I just got paid. Y'all working hard for my money to fulfill what I pray. Not girls, or cars, or power and respect. But have all the candy from the cross that we collect in my backyard. In the fort that I built. It has three candy aisles and a freezer full of milk. Turn ice cream, you know, mixed with Oreos and some Butterfinger BBs. Oh, that sounds great. Give me two, give me three. Got a fat, give me four. Gallons of the mess that make my belly hit the floor. I'll eat it until my feet are hot. Just to see the center of that Tootsie Roll. Pop, I love candy. Come on, I love the candy. Taste the taste, it makes me feel so grand. The tart, the bitter, the sour, the sweet. Let's hit them with a little first too. Why would we know? I better trans fat shit. I have Sam's belly. I spread jelly on my belly. Disappear like Machiavelli. Damn, it's gone. And it's just not funny. I ate so much. I got a clamp in my tummy. Cause I went swimming. Nothing like a summer snack. I'll eat it underwater. Just like a junker taco while I'm sunbathing. Come on, I need a hand. Okay, I'll come back from my fantasy land. Back here to my house in the camp. Where I'm the prince, the queen, and you know the king. Hey! Hey! And top it off with a big old ring. Pop it in your mouth until the flavor dies. And when it all runs out, you'll see a grown man cry. Oh, I used to beg, but now I eat. You know I make my money just to buy my treats. I love candy. I love candy. The taste, the taste, it makes me feel so grand. The tart, the bitter, the sour and sweetheart. Oh, we should bring it down even softer for a verse three. Here we go. I finish my sandwich so I can have my pudding. I smell the whole recess and you ask, how could you? I tunnel the funnel kicks down the right pipe. How could it be wrong if it tastes so right? Cutie didn't know, let me bring you the news. I'm just a skinny dude with a love for food. If you don't understand, this should give you a clue. Listen close. Chris is the Kit Kats like women are the shoes. You're a smart, healthy snack. What does that even 
for me. Your diet is whack, punk like a real life dream with a six foot switch play attack in the park. And a sugar daddy owns, so I'll be home before dark. So unwrap this wrap and unsnap the snap. I gotta make room for my two o'clock snap. Lions, tigers, gummy bears, oh my, my life is complete. I'm so happy I could die. I love candy. Candy. The taste, the taste, it makes me feel so grand to the part The bitter, the sour and sweet There's nothing like some candy Make a little woman and I love the candy oh. Oh, you can pop it in my mouth right now. Don't even act like I won't do it. I will sing this last song. This one. There you go, pop, pop. This is damaged goods. Oh, you're jumping on it. You're warming something in your pocket on morning for me. It's a bit half a bit off. There you go. Let's see here. I probably can't play with this one enough. That doesn't really work very well. Nah, uh, you probably end up taking it too serious with it when you pop on my finger, huh? No, you never know. They might, they might work. No, they can't. How do you get that? <laughs> Mark my territory. Ow. Oh, that's good. That's actually pretty intense. That does not work. You know, I got my water up there, you know. I mean, I know what you're doing. Right over there, the Zephyrin. Oh, so, Zephyr Hills. I don't know where this water comes from, but it sounds like a medicine. Here. Zephyr Hills. Oh, it's from Zephyr Hills, Florida. I mean, they should have just said Water Hills or something. It's Zephyr is like a, sounds like a medicine. It's a refreshing. Or, or of a symptom, it sounds like something. That's Zephyr Hills. The name of the city? I mean, not that I don't love that city, because it's actually one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm sure. We could ask Bill and he could tell us a little bit about it. Where that water came from. Uh, well, duh. <laughs> uh, so, I'm gonna sing this one last song for you. And this is one that I wrote. Let me get this guitar pick back out of my pocket. Do let me borrow that thing. So kind. Mm. Well, I wrote this one when I was rededicating my life and my music to Christ. And we're just happy that y'all are here to, to listen to us and hang out with us. Some beautiful people. That's what helped me wake up. Everyone was so good looking when I got here. I was like, whoa, there's a lot of good looking people here. <laughs> Richard, brother, witness right here. <laughs> he said, good looking, hey. That's the camera. <laughs> He has literally been playing with me since I walked in. You know that? <laughs> Man, makes me kind of nervous. I don't, and I have so long dumb things with it too, that's what's even worse. Oh, man. Yeah. Jack me. Uh, Alright, here we go. This is a song I wrote when I rededicated my life and music to Christ, and it's called Starry Night. <laughs>
I'm giving it all to the old 